happened was I gotta keep my diet right. So I eat my protein yogurt. I was watching Power, so I had Pringles. Got my sketchbook. It really just has like documents in it. But I have another one right here. I'm gonna start back trying to learn to draw. I mean, I know how to draw, but it's just, you know, I'm trying to learn. Let me throw this away. But this is so junky. I feel like I'm junky, but I'm not. I'm just trying to get my life right. <laughs> I got that all black. I know, damn, I shut the hell up. Already annoyed. It's like nine o'clock in the morning. I'm already just annoyed. I just don't like people. I think that's what my problem is. They gonna stop with that lack of hair them way in my room. Like I be wanting to say something, but you know it's an issue when a black girl like says something to like people who are not black. So they're like, oh, she's ghetto. She's rude. She's mean. Like, no, just because I'm a black person with a statement don't mean I'm rude, mean, and loud. Like, have respect for all people. Fuck, it's hot. I bet you right now, it's like, it's probably 100, 105 right now. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, Urban Outfitters. Oh wait, damn, that's the passenger side. The hell am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? See, this is what today's issue is, right? So, you know, I gotta get my grown woman on and get my tires replaced because they're balding. Actually, these tires are okay. Um, they might last me a couple months, but let me tell you about these back tires. So, Lord knows. This tire right here, I don't know if you could kind of tell. I know the lighting's weird. I'm gonna sit my camera down. But all right here is bald in the center. Um, when I look at it, the tire is good, but you have like certain things. You have like, got like a little hole right here. Um, all that good, all that random shit. My newest tire is this back tire. You can see this had a lot of tread on it. Um, so this tire is good. But it's just when I bought the car, I, I learned my lesson. When you buy a used car, make sure the tires are brand new. Um, so, you know, it was, to me, my car was worth buying and used because I got it for like 20 grand. And it's really hard to come by a nice car like this for like 20 grand or less. Like, it really is. And it only had uh, 18,000 miles on it at the time. So, I mean, to me, that's a steal, especially if you want to drive a car that you like and you that you can afford, you like it, and all that good stuff. So, that's why I bought this car. Like, a lot of times people like to stereotype me and well, a lot of times, but I'm the military stereotype. So when people look at me, they're like, oh, she drives a Challenger, she's low ranking. And you know, they look at me like, I can't afford the car. I'm probably starving. You can't really starve as a low Aaron, but I'm probably like broke and everything like that. Like, no, I'm not broke, I'm not starving. I can definitely afford my car. I, I always stay ahead of my payments, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a grown woman. I know what it's like to not have things. I know what it's like to be poor and I know what it's like to live that little middle class life where you're like one of those, one, like, like when you're one of those kids who parents are okay with you not having a job. Like I know both sides of the story because I love both lives. You know what I'm saying? Now I live a life where I'm independent and I'm technically independent. I know I'm in the military, so I'm not like 100% independent. Like, no, I don't pay rent and all that good stuff, but you know, I know how to manage my finances. Cause I learned at an early age, like being broke is not a good thing and being broke is not a good thing, and also being ungrateful is also not a good thing. And living your life unhappy is definitely not a good thing. So that's why I bought the car that I wanted, because I'm happy with my car. I'm gonna take care of my car and do what I need to do. So that's why I'm getting these tires replaced to get along with my little side story. So you see right here, when I was at home, I was trying to reverse in my yard. So I scraped the whole tire and I cut it. And this tire got me all the way to Vegas from Georgia, believe me. 2200 miles got me to Vegas and I have I had this same crack in my uh, tire since before I left but you can see tire is grinded out so today I'm gonna go first get my car washed you can see see this right here I don't know if you can see it see all that you see when I tried to wipe it down it just got more disgusting 
but it's all dusty you can see the dust like all over my car and you can kind of see this right here i'm acting like it's not hot you can see like uh i think i hope that's not a scratch is this a scratch no it's not a scratch but you can see it looks like it's scratched but it's i don't know if you can see the details of it if i turn it down hold on now can you see but yeah, if you can see it, I don't know if you really can see that, but car is dirty, it's F-bomb, all that good stuff. My window, dirty, everything's dirty. So you saw that keyless entry, right? Every time you untouch the underscreen, you can hear it. This is like it's scratched up. It's not scratched up. It just seems to be washed. So every time like I do like this with my nail, it scratches up against it. But um, car is nasty. I went to the strip last night. Not the strip club, the strip, the Vegas strip. Um, my teeth look white as fuck today. Look at that. Let's see. Oh, oh, thank you, mom, for giving me braces. And <laughs> thank you, mother. I, um, I had braces when I was like 12, 13. So I'm waiting on the light. So I went to this. I went. To, uh, I actually turn the air down so you can hear what I'm saying. So I went to this um, soul food restaurant, you know, try to support black owned businesses. And it's mainstream. It's not mainstream, it's like, the light will turn green when I'm trying to like, talk to the camera. Now, turn left. And then it turned back red. Yeah, I'm trying to get off the strip, but it's a pain in the ass. So what I got, of course, you know, yes, I got fried chicken. Yes, I got fried chicken. You know, fried chicken is a part of soul food. Even though it's just a large stereotype. But, you know, I do what I want. I do what I want. So anyways, the system was weird because they make you order outside. And it was hot. I was just so hot waiting my food. But this is what it looks like, though. I mean, yeah. It's going to be so risky. But, you know, I got some chicken. And then you can kind of see it. I got potato salad, mac and cheese, fried chicken. Okay? That's all. So, mac and cheese look good though. Probably ain't better than my mama's, but. Blanco sent you. I can't take no threats, I got a set of twins. Those were just the way your price was just gonna be too nice. I was in fight mode, now it's fuck me, me. Who, who they effing with? But we got effing too. For none of the words we I'm gonna watch how Stella got her groove back while I eat my soul food. Um, I never seen this movie. Now it'd be my first time ever seeing how she got her groove back. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Taste this fried chicken. Let me just. Chicken got fried, right? Oh, they give you pancakes? Okay, got pancakes. Um, okay. Or if you don't want to upgrade, press yellow. So I'm um, at the car wash. It is five o'clock. Get the best of you, just get the revenue, nigga. So let me know what you can have. The fees have the blade dance, need sixty dollars seven. So yeah, I finally made it to Walmart. 